now a uh, few things that we are uh, looking to to implement uh, okay so so you saw we had add-ons and the add-ons generated random numbers very nice but if I'm running an add-on how can someone verify that I'm not cheating and returning random numbers that are best for my case okay um, so you can um, you can run the same uh, add-on on your node okay uh, but then again th there is a, a problem to enforce everybody to run the same the same add-on but what if we take this code of the add-on and deploy it to the blockchain then blockchain everything we deploy to the blockchain is digitally signed and timestamp so everybody can tell that this is a, that this is a code. So, so one a feature we are looking to implement. See, we already have this data data cloud feature. Data cloud allows you to deploy whatever you like into the blockchain, limited to 40k in size. Um, so the idea is that we can now deploy um, class files to the blockchain. And um, and any node that register to run the cl this class file will auto will load it from the blockchain as byte array, generate a class from this byte array, and invoke this class. It's uh, it's not difficult to do in Java. Um, then you have an add-on with a little bit more um, security. I mean, there there could still be uh, issues that someone tells you that it, they are loading this class and invoking it but you can do exactly the same thing on your node and see if you're reaching the same result of the calculation I mean still if you are doing some kind of gambling game or a binary a decisions or things like that if the node that makes the decision cheated you cannot prevent it from cheating you can just expose that it cheated later be because these class again these uh, add-ons or uh, add-ons stored in the blockchain still don't have any exclusive entry into the blockchain they still need to submit transactions eventually that comply with all the rest of the rules but now you can also combine um, this uh, blockchain based add-on with a uh, phasing Right. So, uh, so let's say that I have this uh, random game that generates a roulette game. Okay, one account is running the roulette itself and uh, sending. A, you trigger it by sending it a message, by sending it a payment that says how much you are betting. If you are betting on red or black or number or uh, uh, odd or even and so on and you will generate the random number decide uh, um, and submit a transaction in case a node uh, won won the bet another node but this transaction can be phased so that someone else needs to approve it another node say that is managed by some known community manage, uh, manager that people trust more can also run the same contract if they reach the exact same results they will just approve the transactions that the uh, game manager submitted if not they will not approve it and it will uh, not execute or you can define two out of three or three out of five or all kind of other policies of how this contract is going to be approved now so so this gives you some level of flexibility i mean it's not complete flexibility you cannot do something that you couldn't do now because of the consensus but you can automate many of the uh, many of the tasks and add some kind of uh, business logic to this uh, automation Be because if you look if you look at uh, 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 what people are doing today with smart contracts with programmable um, with programmable code deployed to the blockchain it can do much more because it accesses directly to the blockchain it can modify balances it can do 
it can do many more things, but on the other hand, it has to be invoked by every node on the network, and this is, and this is very wasteful uh, one. Insecure, because if you have a bug in this contract, people can exploit it and steal your fonts. 